Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Letter Squad? Today we're doing a Tilt Tuesday, a T-I-L-T Tuesday. Um, and we... Hold on, I gotta turn my, my volumes up a little bit. Uh, we are playing Charybdis on this Tilt. Because I looked up when my last Charybdis video was, and it was like May. It was in like May or something, and now I can do a full hour-long Charybdis video. Well... I say that, but I could just lose this game right here. You never know. Um, Horrific is really good against Hera. Because this lowers shields as well now. Healing from enemy gods received by 40%. Their shield effectiveness decreased by 50 and 75% of current applied shield is removed. So very, very good stuff against Hera. Potentially... An early first blood if he gets a little too close to me, but his clear is really good. So I have a I have a feeling that I probably won't be able to. I probably won't be able to, to slap it, but you never know. Not Cyrus. The real Sam? No. Nope, not me. Never been me. Fun fact, name's Jim. Sorry, guys. A second duel, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. Uh, like I, uh, I like me too. I guess. Is that what I say? I have no idea. I'm just not going to say anything. I am just not going to say anything because I don't know what to say to that. All right. I still have one of each potion left. I did double buff and I'm still pretty much full HP. I do hit five here. If I slow him and then ult. Oh, close. Very close. Andy Burr, congratulations on your 10,000 gems. All right. I mean, we're doing okay, right? Like, I, I think I'm a little scared because I have to end this game pretty early. Because Hera, if she gets to the Argus that has 4,000 HP, I'm done for. Although, I will say, I'm pretty sure my one goes through Argus and hits her. So maybe it's fine, actually. I hit her for 69. Oh my gosh. Alright, this is low level Argus. Low level Argus is not a threat. It's high level Argus that's a threat. When he starts having way too much HP to deal with. Dude, it feels so good that two auto attack chains with Charybdis kills the Meteor. I don't know, man. Low key, I kind of feel like Charybdis is good. Something sharp? Like... I've been able, I've, I've played Charybdis a few times. Like, I don't know, three or four times in this split in duel, just because people have been requesting her a lot. And she really hasn't let me down yet. Although I will say, uh, if you build devils on her, prepare to lose. Because you're not going to do any damage for a long time. I kind of want to do your blue buff. Do you think he'll let me? <laughs> I think he'll just watch me do his blue buff and like be okay with it. Probably not, but I'm going to try anyways. Oh, he could just do red actually. 
He's busy with wave. We're fine. We're fine. He's busy with the wave. He's going to go check on his blue. Be a little bit sad and I'm going to get red. I can take a little bit of damage. Nice. Nice. I don't think Argus really does anything to me when I'm like all up in his face. Because my one, well, like while my one is active, first off, I can kill Argus. He's still level one. But while my one is active, I should just shoot through him. Doesn't matter. Argus is irrelevant. At level 20, when Argus has 4,000 HP, and like, even if I'm shooting through him, Argus is hitting me for 300 a hit, that's when I'm, I should be scared of him. Right now, I'm chilling. <coughs> All right, go back, get Shogun's. Uh, start the kins. Yo, actually, you you need kins and Xe. Like you have to go kins on Cryptus. It's like the specialty, right? Like oboe and kins, you have to build those two items. Maybe I just go like Xe oboe and then like kins silver branch. That low key sounds like a really good build. Like I don't have any sustain. But it sounds like it does a lot of damage. It sounds like I will, like, obliterate him. What? My build, man! You weren't even behind- Oh, actually, you were 1.3k down. Okay, you know what? You know what? I didn't look at the gold. My bad. I'll see you in game two. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to video game number two. The first game being a five-minute surrender was a little bit sad. It was a little sad. I feel a little bit bad. But I'm fighting a diamond border Danza. Now, this guy is an ADC, okay? So he's ADC. And unfortunately for him, <clears throat> you know his little taunt thing that he throws out? I feel like I can handle it pretty easily. I also feel like Horrific is OP against Hunters. Oh, also, by the way, Barrier, um, this thing, so strong against Hunters. Because if you don't know, it reduces basic attack damage that passes through it by 30%, dude. 30%. If you guys fight an ADC, I mean, don't do it to me because that'd be rude. But like other ADCs, if you fight them, then by barrier, it, it like it, eh, they can't hurt you. And I, they actually do nothing to you. You think he's invading me? Or is he just trying to find me? You think he saw me? Have I don't think he saw me. I think I'm like a ghost. I think I'm a ghost, boys. I think I'm a ghost, gamers. We popped the horrific. I got the red buff. No way you win this battle, gamer. How? There we go. There we go. I'm a little sneaky ghost. Now we've got the red buff. We got the kill. We got the advantage. I hit level 5 off this wave, I'm pretty sure. I do. Ridiculous. He's still level 3. I'm going to get his blue buff. He has health pots and a health chalice. Blue buff is mine. I have red buff. I don't think you win this. Perfect. Perfect. I knew. I knew, dude. I know things. That's what I do. I drink and I know things. 800 gold up. 
Dude, I'm telling you. This god is big sleeper mode. But you guys think that y'all y'all are onto some shit, but you're not. You think sleeping on Charybdis is worth it? Nope. This god's busted. You should you should you should actually play this god. Also, I feel like excuse me. Lifesteal is kind of like like I really don't feel like I need to build lifesteal. That's mine. Ain't no way. Ain't no way you just walked in and got that. How dare you? How dare you? After all I've gone through for you. After all the bloodshed that I've seen. Granted, most of the time it was your blood. But like still, I saw it. I can't believe it, dude. I can't believe it. I'm pretty sure I can't take this tower. Okay, I can. But I might die for it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh! No! My three! My three was up, dude. My three was up, dude. Oh! Fuck. Man, I had that. I actually had that, too. Fuck. Uh, he just did it. He just did it. Whatever. Whatever, man. If disappointing is in the dictionary, you'll see my picture next to it. I'm pretty sure I can't get this, by the way. Oh, I can. <laughs> nice ow that red buff owns me dude i mean I, I won the fight but like that red buff hurts where is he is he just back he did just back Ow, man, holy. Oh, we got finished berserkers. How does he have that much gold? Nice. All right, I'm chilling. If he alts me, I just turn into my three. I don't ever die to him, I don't think here. Yep. Yeah, I think I'm vibing. All right, so I'm gonna go Berserkers and then XE. Um, check my phone while I run back. <laughs> <laughs> Your middle tower under attack. All right. We're still 500 gold up. I don't know where he is, though. Holy shit, my attack speed feels so much faster. Dude, how am I 500 gold up? But well, we have the exact same build all the time. Oh, I am. 
I am upset about that one. Whatever, I get red buff. It's okay. All right, red buff is mine. Let's go back. Ow! What the hell, man? That was not in the script. Just got hit by a meteor. Do you have XE? Yeah, you have finished XE. Finished XE. Oh, what the fuck? That's taken two? How is this guy farming so well? Oh, yeah. this rocks. I actually don't understand it. I'm going to get bar barrier here. Yeah, I don't I don't get it, dude. How I mean you're down a level, obviously, but like how the fuck are you 400, 500 gold down and you're maintaining builds with me? Okay, I am kind of owning him right now. Yeah, my barrier is just gonna keep my whole my whole wave safe, basically. There's half a Phoenix down. Oh my god. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Alright. Dude, Barrier is so OP. I'm telling you. In like ADC games. Or games where you are an ADC. I actually think I could win this fight. Never mind. Never mind. Wait, never mind again. No, he's actually healing a lot. Well, hold up. Let me cook, dude, because I'm kind of owning. Oh, if I did not bury her, I was dead there. If I did not bury her, I was dead there. Holy shit. Thank God barrier is OP. All right, I want to go oboe in the silver branch. I also really want to pick up that red, but I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can make it in time. Please. Fuck. I mean, at least he doesn't have red, right? I'll take it. Alright, and then we get the scepter again. And he still has no lifesteal either, by the way. Which is really bad for him for Titan defense because my oboe is going to obliterate him. I also don't know what he's doing. Did I just eat? I just ate the rocket. I just... 
I just munched the rocket. I ate the whole fucking thing, dude. What in the world was that? <laughs> what the fuck? I just ate it, dude. All right, he's going to come invade this, but it'll be done by the time he gets here. I'm pretty sure he has no, uh, he has no alt for it. I have both barrier and horrific. I just stay on my side of the barrier and there's nothing he can do to me. He's literally critting me for 120, by the way. He's crit he hit me for 13 autos for a thousand like 1100 damage with crit chance. I just make sure that I'm on my side of the barrier and he loses that fight 100% of the time. The only way to counter that is like if you're him is oh, he barriered. Okay, I don't take this fight anymore. Which feels super shitty cuz like Obviously, you want to take that fight. All right, now I simply just oboe him to death. My oboe has done 600 damage to him. I really want Silver Branch, by the way. All right, back to Oboen. I mean, dude, look at that. Oboe did 2,000 damage to the Titan and 900 to him. Like, <laughs> I just do so much damage with Oboe as, as Charybdis. It's ridiculous. All right. Thanks for watching game two. I'll see you guys in game three. What's up, boys? Game number three of Tilt. A blank rib this. Oh god. <sighs> okay. We got a new crib this skin. Little pink thingy. Little pink demon guy. Fighting Chiron. Chiron is like very, very strong right now. What you do with Chiron is you just build full power and uh there's like almost nothing anyone can do against it. It just he just does that much damage. It's actually really, really hard to do anything against it. If I go horrific, if I go horrific. I mean, he can get rid of the slow by dashing. I'm pretty sure, but he can't get rid of. He can't get rid of uh, the attack speed slow, can he? I'm just waiting to see where he, where he is. Oh, I see him over there. See my red buff. I don't think I can steal red buff. Against his 1-2 combo. Because if, if he's holding it, there's no way, man. But I have to try. Right, he's just gonna he's gonna get the red and back I'm gonna go straight for his blue I don't think I'll be able to get it though to be honest And I can't do anything to him. That is so unfortunate, dude. That passive, that healing. Oh, I... 
He hits five off this wave and then he just kills me. Fuck. All right. I'm not that easy to take down. I'm pretty sure he's just following me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just went to my uh to my buff camp. No, he didn't. Interesting. I wonder if he even checked his blue. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm in a good spot here then. Cause I actually have double buff control. I actually have double buff control. He's got wards, bro. He's warding. Also Griffin wing uh, Chiron is a weird play. I think Griffin Wing Chiron is uh, not optimal. But he's going to go get some defense. I'm also going to go get some defense. Because this fight at Red Buff is going to be legendary. And I'll be honest, he's probably going to win it because I don't have an ultimate. <laughs> but you never know, man. Oh, he's already there. Oh, I got it. Wow, that is really good for me. Holy shit, actually. That is really good for me. I don't know why he started it like that. Pretty much whoever starts that red buff loses it, I'm pretty sure. But I am in a good spot here now. Close. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, the tower did that much damage to me? Wait a second. It hit me five times in the time it took me to cast my ult. I took two tower shots running from here to here and then casting my ult literally instant cast by the way did that much damage I mean that's that's absurd that's absurd you got a full XE I am literally dead as fuck I there's there's no universe where I win this fight by the way Just do your blue you freak Oh, I don't have my knock up possible I don't have a juice for my knock up He's playing this really bad. I don't know why the fuck he did that. He could have just gotten his blue and like completely won. Like th there's there's no world in where chasing me is the correct option unless you're like omega bloodthirsty. And he shouldn't be. Chasing me there was just a dumb play. I will take that. Although I will say he probably gets red buff. He probably gets red buff. I'm 
pretty sure I own you here. Like, I'm pretty sure you never win that. Because I have full defense and he has full XE, but like, defense is just kind of OP. He's fast. Again, I don't really see... I don't really see the win there for you. It just seems like he really wants to fight me. It doesn't seem like he's like thinking about the fights. He's just like, fuck it, I want to fight. Which is fine. Like, that's a fine way to play, but I don't think it's a, it's a good way to win. Also, I really want to go barrier again. Like I did in the other uh, Hunter matchup, but I'm going to wait it out a bit. Like, the fact that I died, he has an assist, and I'm still 400 gold up is crazy. He wants to take this fight because he wants to back and be there for a blue. He doesn't have dash. He might die here. Okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's trying, I swear, dude, I swear to you. So Alfie hates me, by the way, uh, because I called him out for sniping me and he didn't like that. And so now he hates me. Um, I swear to you, this like play style he's doing is simply because he wants to like show everyone he's better than me. You know, he's like trying to assert dominance over me by playing like this, which is just not going to work. It's you just you can't just kill someone because you want to. It's illegal in the US and it's not gonna work in Smite. Well, I do really want that tower down. Oh, he's just he just got mannequins and he's healing his tower. Annoying. Annoying. Look at his tower just heal up, dude. It's like 30 HP a second, by the way. Go get my Odie bow now. Go grab the Odie bow. His second relic is thorns, so I actually can play barrier. I actually can. He's getting XP. All right. All right. get this scepter for me and I will go get barrier and anti-heal and that's it for now anti-heal is important because even though he doesn't have like any lifesteal in his build he uh, has his passive which is like super OP I 
fucking hate how loud that is. It actually breaks my eardrums every single time. I'm going to do your blue. Okay, he ulted. Didn't expect that. Did he just double alt his blue buff, by the way? My scepter hits through the wall, so I can just stand here and own him. Almost killed his tower. Almost killed his tower. This is important for me to pick up so I can uh so I can keep his tower down. He can get red buff. I actually don't think I care that much. His eye, I'm gonna go silver branch next item. I'm gonna go silver branch. And it should be enough to win a fight. Maybe. I don't have enough for it, actually. He's going dominance. I mean, it should be... It should be dominance. Because he doesn't have enough power in his build for Heartseeker, I think. I'm going to clear this wave and then go... Now I have Silver Branch. And now my damage is going to be way higher than it just was because I get 13 stacks at 3 power per stack, by the way. So that's a that was a 60 power item for me, by the way. 60 power item. Actually ridiculous. All right, Scepter again. I could go Aussie. Wouldn't be bad to go Aussie. I guess. Is he just following me around? Did I even miss that, by the way? I'm pretty sure I missed that. I'm pretty sure I missed that. chilling I think I'll probably go bull demon here but I also don't think bull demon matters much I'm gonna fully upgrade barrier because what that does is not only do I get 30% reduced basic damage incoming I get 10% increased basic damage basic attack damage outgoing which means if I plop this bitch down in front of an objective, I'm going to be doing so much damage. <laughs> also, a new scepter. And I do want this red buff as well. I think he just... The only reason he got the uh, bull demon is just so I couldn't get it. gonna run
Mm. Dude, barrier is way too strong, my guy. Barrier is so strong. And you know what's crazy about it too is it lasts for 30 seconds. And where I put it right there, it's going to slow the minion waves also. So my waves are going to have pressure by default. I am also getting 70... I'm getting a 100 power silver branch right now. 75 power from the stacks of silver branch. And then 25 power from the item itself. I have a 100 power silver branch. 30 seconds on my barrier. I also will obliterate him in a fight. As long as I like land an auto attack. Ouch. I missed. You do not compete. Dude, look at that damage, man. Look at that damage. That barrier damage. Just insane, dude. I'm doing so much. I'm doing so much damage. This is a good fucking build. This build works. This build works. 255 power with percent pen and base pen. Like I have percent pen there and then I have, I guess like percent reduction there. And then, yeah, all I have to do is, is wait. All I have to do is wait for that barrier, dude. Alright. I didn't win the game off that, but... I did do half of the Titan's health. I didn't have to use anything for it, and I confirmed red buff so I can back and do it again. Realistically, I don't even need to back here, but it's fine. It's an extra like 700 HP that might make a difference. But with barrier down, all I have to do is circle around it and make sure that we're fighting between and and I win that. All right. Look at that damage, dude. Ow. Alright. Alright. Okay. Maybe it's going to be a little harder than I thought. My crit chance hurts. There we go. I got him on the back foot. He has no ult either. Nice. Nice. GG. He has no alt. I can dash in. Sure, Thorns did 350, but like Barrier does more than Thorns in this matchup, I think. Like any Hunter matchup, I think Barrier is just better. All right, I'll see you guys in game four. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to game number four, I think. It's either... Uh...
I don't know. It's either three or four. Sorry, my sister. My so my sister. Okay. You know what? Let's let's have story time with about my sister and I. Oh. So, story time about my sister and I. When we were younger, we hated each other. Um, all we did was fight. Hey. Um, all we did was fight and you know, we never really did anything together until I started playing WoW and I got a laptop and I started playing WoW and my sister was like, oh, that looks fun. And then she started playing WoW with me for a little bit. She only got to like level 30. This was back when max level was like 60. Um, but you know, she got to level 30 and stopped playing. You know, it took too much time. She didn't enjoy it that much. And, you know, ever since then, she was kind of like, like a closet gamer almost, but like she wanted to play games, but she didn't really find any games that she liked, I think. And also we're friends now, by the way, me and my sister, but, uh, regardless, she's been like a closet gamer and recently, you know, she started playing D and D and realizing how much she liked D and D and then became like an outward gamer where she just likes playing games. And you know, she has like friends that play games and stuff like that now. And so her boyfriend bought her a computer, a gaming computer for Valentine's day, which by the way is tomorrow in case you guys don't know. Um, and she is now obsessed with Pal World, which I told her, I was like, I am in love with that game. And I have, I have like 150 hours in that game and I have like still so much to do, I feel like. But she just sent me a message. She just texted me. It was like, hey, so I want to play Pal World with you guys. Um, so her boyfriend bought a server for 10 people. So me and her and her boyfriend and Shiv and a couple of our other friends can play in one server and ask for our discord. I'm actually very excited. It's cool. I haven't played a game with my sister, like realistically played a game with her uh, since like, no, other than like card games and fucking blackjack or something since um oh oh let's just go berserkers again let's just do the same build it's working don't mix it up but since we played wow really i haven't like played a video game with her since we played wow when i was like i don't know 12 <laughs> like 16 years ago or some shit 17 years ago All right, you're owning me, man. I get it. I get it. You're chalk. You're a big dick guy. All right, but actually, hold on. I'm kind of owning you, though. You're just going to let me have this? Really? Unexpected, but I'll take it. You're going to go to your blue buff. I'm going to really quickly clear this wave and then go to my blue buff. Okay, never mind. I cleared that wave really fast. I'm actually going to go to your blue buff. And you're going to be too busy clearing the wave to defend. Let's go. Blue buff city, baby. Are you going to go to mine now? Fair play. Oh, let's go. I casted it at the perfect time. Hold on. I casted it at the perfect time. Hold on. I slowed him. Boom. 
No. Yes. Okay. Uh, I stole him so I could catch up to him. But I casted my two at the perfect time that the travel time from like him landing on his alt and the two hitting the buff was exactly long enough for his alt to hit the buff and then my two hit the buff. But I was still able to cast it. All right, you cannot just walk in and tank the whole wave, bro. You're getting kind of owned. You're getting kind of owned. Also, Berserker Shield goes unbelievably hard here. And maybe a Toxic Blade. Like, obviously, Executioner is good because Penetration. And Anti-Heal also. But uh, Toxic Blade lowers attack speed. Dude, this got owns, dude. I'm owning. I don't know what's up with Charybdis, dude. I'm telling you, though. Like, she's just good. If you ever want to miss an auto, I'm down. Nope. Not today, gamer. Do I actually get this tower, by the way? I do. Oh. I'm just going to run. I'm sure you're fine with it. Nice. Little Borzerker, little Executioner. Check my phone while I'm running the lane because I'm super professional about everything in life. Your middle tower's under attack. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, he left up the rock for me. Let's go. I'm 1.3 ahead. I probably can't catch him. Dude, he's got no defense. He's going to get like unironically obliterated. Look at that damage. Why did I push him away though? Horrific OP. I missed my two like an absolute fucking degenerate. Oh my god. I actually killed him there. Not only do I kill him, I'm pretty sure I win the game there. That is tragic. You get shit on by minions. Yeah, I mean, kind of. I'm pretty sure you can't fight me. I have that thing called defense, and then you do not. Alright. GG Gamer. GG Gamer. I will see you guys in the next game. Yo, what's up, boys? This is going to be the last game of Tilt, because I've been recording for an hour and 50 minutes, which is ridiculous. And the, the fact that Charybdis is going the full distance means something. Even if I lose this game, Charybdis has gone the full distance. Which is like... Oh, I can't go horrific this game. Because he's slow immune. Alright, I'll just go shell. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, the fact that Charybdis is going the full distance is... It means two things. One... Uh, she's not terrible. You know, she has the stigma around her that she's a very bad god. But if you build to her strengths, which is literally just a bunch of attack speed and Odibo with Silver Branch and Kins. Like, that that's her strengths, right? Like, item effects... Or item proc effects are her strength. Kins, Obo, Executioner, um, and then Silver Branch because all of her good items give a lot of attack speed. Is he going to invade me, by the way? Because I... If he is... Oh, man. Oh, I got it. Wait, you don't win this. Wait, maybe you win this. You know what? Fuck it. I'm down to trade. Alright, nice. Nice. Actually, not bad. 
Wait, you're getting you're getting obliterated. You're getting obliterated. I'm going to your blue buff now. There's no way that I lose this fight, right? Because I I can go immune. I can go immune. He might jump over the wall and try to murder me, but I think I'm safe. You're not going to get my blue buff, are you? Oh no, he's just backing. All right, cool. It worked out. So I was a little scared of that fight. And he he did a very early shell, which actually isn't bad. Like a lot of people think early shells mean that you're like a really bad, like you're really bad at baiting that fight. But shell actually lowers the damage you take from auto attacks. So it lasts really long. And um, if you do it, like if you pop that shell in the beginning of the fight, like he did, it's really, really, really hard to break. You gonna stop my back again? Okay. Okay. Oh, I really wanted him to fight me. I really wanted him to fight me there. Or jump back in or something. Dude, you know what I... Oh my god, I just figured out why Kribdis is so good right now. It's the golden shard. It's because you don't have to wait to clear the wave well. Because previously, if you remember... You would have to wait so long... To be able to clear the wave, like I think level four or five, which I mean that's not so long, but longer than normal. Um, and having to wait that long. Okay, that was a terrible shell. Having to wait that long basically just meant you lost all your pressure. So the fact that you can insta clear wave now. Just means you are completely fine to, like, own everything. Okay. Why did he just let me do that? Although, I will say, I can't get your blue buff, so... I don't know if it was calculated that your death is on time for your blue buff spawn or not, but it worked out for you. All right, let me go get this. I kind of want Phalanx because Phalanx... So, okay. Another thing that people are like, oh man, Berserker Shield is just straight up better than Phalanx because you get the 25% attack speed at all times and then you also get a burst of more attack speed. And while, yes, you do get more attack speed from Phalanx, it's not better. And let me explain. Phalanx has 50 physical protection, whereas this has 50 physical protection. It is 200 HP. <coughs> this is 150 HP. So already, you're getting 30% attack speed and 50 more HP, right? But what a lot of people don't understand about Phalanx is that... That 50 protection, which is the same as Berserker Shield, is not actually 50 protection. It is 71 protection. It is 71 physical and 21 magical protection. Because when you get a stack of that attack speed from the passive, you're also getting a stack of 7 of each protection. Which is a huge thing to overlook. Like, 
a 71 physical protection and 30% attack speed from a single item is better than 50 protection. You know? Just it just is. And yes, there are times when Berserker Shield is decent. You know, if you if you really need the attack speed and your opponent is like like if your opponent's not gonna be auto attacking you much, and you're like, I really need that attack speed though, then sure. You know, then sure, I get it. But more than likely, Phalanx is gonna be really good in, in a scenario a little bit better. The reason I go Berserker Shield in duel instead of Phalanx is because when I'm against a physical god, um, I don't give a shit about magical protection. You know? I value the attack speed more than the protections in duel because there's like, I'm not fighting a mage and towers aren't magical. It's not like they're going to hurt me. So that's kind of the, the give and take as to why Phalanx is bought more often in conquest than in duel. And especially another thing to note about conquest and Phalanx is that um, a lot of conquest builds are very heavy physical defensive items right now. They're not ma very magical. So that 21 magical defense you get from Phalanx is probably going to be the only magical defense you get. Oh my god, that stole that. It's probably the only magical defense you get for a while. Like until like your fourth item maybe. I can't believe his little minion stole that, by the way. Um, oh, your blue is up. Do we think he's going for my blue? Your middle tower is under attack. Oh, lucky man. Nice. Nice. That's so good for me. I didn't know if the ult would reach, and to be honest, I didn't think it would, but here we are. Actually, a huge help. You know what's so weird? The Sekhmet Scepter heals your own tower, but it doesn't do damage to the enemy tower. It's not consistent. All right, so let's get Exy and Odibo because I can get a finished Exy and a finished Odibo in one back, which is so stupid because I literally only had tier one Exy. I just gained 55% attack speed plus a proc plus 30 power. I'm pretty sure you don't win, even with your ult. Nice. Yeah, I got way too much power from that. 400 damage from the Odibo. Dude. I just do so much damage, man. Actually, it's not even that I do that much damage. 
It's it's the fact that I'm I do such consistent damage. Like my numbers aren't that good, but the amount of autos that I'm throwing out, plus the procs, like my da my damage is so good. All right, so we get the red buff. We get the red buff. I don't really care that much about the scepter. Let's just get triple buff control and chesty control. Triple buff control and chesty control and then grab silver branch here. Not a perfect silver branch because they don't have kins, but that's okay. Still 12 stacks on it. And then last item, again, you know, probably a kins. He's got beat stick and I have no healing. I actually think this no lifesteal build in duel is pretty good. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's not. Yeah, oh, holy fuck. I'm hitting 140 damage in auto at 2.5 attack speed. With Odibo procs. I don't see how he fights this. Well, there's his alt and his, and his shell and his thorns. Dude. My damage is fucking nuts. Actually insane. I think you guys should go and try this build out. Like, just just do this this exact build you see me have. It lacks pen, but then you get kins and it makes up for it. You might want Aussie instead of kins if they don't have that much defense. But okay. So do this build. I want everyone, every single person watching this video, go play Charybdis. Do this exact build. You're going to go Kins if they have double defense or they feel really tanky to you. Or you'll go Aussie if they don't feel that tanky to you. Obviously, get the Executioner Glyph that has anti-heal on it. It's just going to be good in general, but insane. Insane. I should have said GG. I left on accident. I'm sorry. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.